What's up, how you doing? And this is your man DT here with another one for you. It's a beautiful day out today and we are out here in Yokohama. Yeah, I know I hardly make any videos outside of Yokosuka, but that's gonna change. Now we're able to stretch our legs a little bit and so I can give you the skinny on even more places. Sound good? Now today we are going to an outdoor mall of sorts called Bay Quarter located at the location below. So what do you say we walk around a little bit, grab a bite to eat? But first, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square at the bottom right of this video so that you can find and access my awesome content of 50 plus videos that much easier. Or follow us on the gram at Daddy T Japan. So Bay Quarter is only about a seven minute walk from Yokohama Station. If you are driving, like us, to get to this parking spot, depending on the direction you came from, you may have to make a U-turn to get to the parking. Directly behind me is actually an intersection and a light, and I made a U-turn there. There wasn't a sign on the ground prohibiting it, and there was actually a police officer on the corner. He said nothing to me, so there. Also, this place has several restaurants, an indoor play center for kids, and a pet store or two. They also sometimes have live performances here when weather permits. You should also know that your parking is only validated for one hour as opposed to two hours in most places. So factor that into your fun if you want. Remember, it's Yokohama. The last time I parked here was a couple of years back. I actually got to put my car inside one of those car vending machines made my one ton SUV look like a Tonka toy. It was amazing, but I didn't get to access it this time. Now that is actually on floor B1. We parked on floor one. If you do wanna park there, make sure that you take that antenna off the top of your car by unscrewing it because they may ask so that it doesn't get damaged. If it's a fixed on antenna, then you may be okay. Now you can find the floor directory on just about every floor. I remember there being an awesome restaurant here called Atlantic, but it seems a French restaurant has taken its place, but that's cool. I love French cuisine as well. Let's make a video of one of my favorite places one day. Now, I have children with me, three to be exact, so I wanna go somewhere family friendly. I know out in Yokohama and bigger cities, it may seem like it's hard to find them, but it's getting better. When we first started having children, it seemed like all the big city eating was geared more towards couples with family restaurants closer to residential areas. But I personally see a change with more places having baby high chairs, more family rooms for diaper changing, etc. Actually, we have to go to one right now. 20 minutes later. So we settled on a burger joint that's well known throughout the world apparently because they say they have them in London and other big cities and I've eaten here before. I am going to attempt to pronounce it correctly so if I mess it up I apologize. Here we go. Kua Aina. I hope I said that right. And Bay Quarter is great by the way. And I will come back and make several more videos covering even more of the mall and restaurants. So it ain't over till it's over. Know what I'm saying? Now let's walk and take it all in. Act like you're here instead of me.
So I won't lie, I really have my eye on that barbecue burger. They have one here with the bacon on it and a couple of clubhouse sandwiches, soups, lots of drink options. Popcorn shrimps, you name it, they got it. And for the kids, they have quarter size burgers, so they can't even get in on the action. So we're gonna order one of those. And also, you don't have to worry about fighting over a chair. They will already have seats assigned for your group as they filter you in. So I'm happy for that. Also, if you want a high chair in Japan, we refer to it as a baby chair. They gave us two of them and I'm going to make sure my son is moved back away from the table so that he doesn't hit his cute little dome on it. Now here is my barbecue burger. This burger is pretty good. The fries are slamming. Kids love the fries. I don't think they even touch their burger to be honest. We had to dog bag most of that. It's a bit on the pricey side for a burger. Some of you may know that already, but it's not bad. And all, while I was chomping down, I was actually thinking about my favorite burger spot of all the Yokohama. And I want to take you there on one of my next vids. But this place was nice as well and courteous to us. Can't say anything bad about them. Let's take a walk. I want to show you something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, they don't call it Bay Quarter for nothing, am I right? Now this bridge actually connects Bay Quarter to a large high-end department store called Sogo. Now this is where you can get your Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Christian Louboutin, Hermes, and of course Gucci. Can't leave that one out. So you can get all of that right here in Yokohama. The only other Sogo I know off the top of my head is the one in Shibuya. But no need to go all the way out there because there's one right here. I'll go inside this one or maybe the one in Shibuya and make a purchase on another video. Sound good? But for this one, we're going to make a U-turn and head towards the electronics store. Multiple floors of nothing but semiconductors, silicone, and microchips. And I'll have that up soon enough. Thanks for stopping by. And if you didn't know about Bay Quarter before or even Sogo, now you know. And with that, subscribe and be ready for the next one. Till next time, DT out. Ain't growing.